Welcome back, Rip Gym members. I'm Jose Almeida. We're going to discuss today uh, compound training or how to do isolation movements. Zoltan, one of our personal trainers, is going to demonstrate and discuss how to do this. The focus will be chest today, uh, so he's going to go through several movements and exercises to demonstrate how we pound the chest. Hi, my name is Zoltan Zenda. I'm a personal trainer, certified in insurance for 25 years here at Rip Gym. I would like today to demonstrate what I, what I believe to be one of the best ways to get here in chest, engorged in blood, and really pumped. I'm gonna have Hugo demonstrate a pec deck here as our first exercise in an isolation movement. We're gonna get the chest really pumped up here. What I want Hugo to do is to keep his shoulders back, keep the chest up in the air, and as you're contracting, you're squeezing the muscles, and as you're opening up, you're relaxing. Good, I like to do about 15 reps each, and then we move down to 12, 10, and eight with increasing weights. Okay, so once we've done the pec deck, we immediately move over to the dumbbell bench press, which is the compound part of this superset exercise. This is an excellent exercise, isolating each arm, isolating each pec. Both of them have to work in conjunction. After the pec deck, this one will really target your chest. Tip number one, the pectoralis, or the chest muscles made the pectoralis major and minor. Our focus is the pec major. It really has three parts, the upper, the mid, and the lower. If you want to hit the upper chest, you use incline presses. If you want to hit the middle of the chest, flat presses. If you want to cut the lower chest, you use decline presses. They can all be done in the same uh, exercise segment. In conclusion, I believe that this is one of the best ways for you to get your chest engorged and pumped. I like to do uh, three sets, 15 repetitions, 12 repetitions, 10 repetitions, momentary muscle failure at the last set. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. See you next week.